For me, um, I have a huge void to fill in my life. And so by thinking that if I could touch one person or make one person think of helping somebody else, it, it's what drives me to get this done. I, I'm hoping it'll help me give her what she wanted um, to help other people. That's who she was. That's what, you know, she always wanted. She wanted to be a lawyer to help people. She wanted to be a psychiatrist to help people. Everything she chose was to help people. My life revolved around her and her schedule. I mean, from dance to cheer to clubs, I'd commute, you know, to San Jose and as soon as I got home, pick her up and drive her around. So that was my life. And now, again, she's still my life in a different way. I will put everything I have into doing this. And so between my scholarship, which helps fund all of these activities, and helping people continue their education or do whatever they want to become. And if I can make somebody have a Cinderella night, then it's a dream that I've helped somebody. You figure we got all these dresses before any articles, before any flyers have hit the, the companies or letters have gone out. So you, you can see that love is coming. And so we have, you know, I have big visions. I'm, you know, I'm hoping by March that I'll, I'll have 700 dresses. February's our first public collection and kind of for people to know who we are and stuff. Um, oh, okay. And then March we'll start handing out. I mean, it's kind of hard when you look at her. You, you see she was amazing to the eye. Um, she had a big heart and a huge, a huge brain. She could have done anything and would have had so much to give to this world. So it's kind of hard to figure out why. Some say I'll never know. So the best I can do at this point is get out of bed when I can and give back all that I, all that I have to give. Because that's what she would have done. So I guess all I have left of her is this. And so that's why my dream is huge for this. Because my dreams were huge for her.